disappointed um, from start to finish really. Um, you know, obviously we watched a lot of stuff when we first came to the club on, on the team and the group and you know, we just didn't really show anything for the first 50 minutes of the game. Didn't really lay a glove on Curzon. Um, had them watched last week, worked on things Tuesday, Thursday to try and implement our, our way we wanted to go about the game. Um, didn't implement that once. Like I said, we don't think we laid a glove on them until 50 minutes of the game. Where we had to change our shape, which at home was a bit embarrassing really. Um, you know, you've got a team that you could catch if we'd have won the game today, would have been four points off of Curzon in mid-table. Um, I can't remember Mark keep having to make many saves, maybe three tops. Um, positives, maybe we've hit the post with a good header first half, could have done better across past second half, but even still, quality in the final third wasn't there at all. We was, we was rushing things, we didn't link up play well enough. Um, everything I said about the game, if we, if we can get a foothold in the game and, and win our battles and win our bits across the pitch, then we have got quality to open them up, what we've seen in training, obviously, in bits against Gloucester, but we were miles away today. And um, there's a lot for me and Terry to think about um, in the coming week. You seen first half, there was no outlet for you. Mm. And you couldn't build any phases of play to yeah. build any pressure. Mm. Uh, and the ball kept just coming back. So yeah. is that something you're going to have to look at? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, we have to have, to have another think um, you know, from now on in, really. Uh, the way we're going to play, I thought once we went three up top, you know, we started to, to have a foothold in the game. We got tighter in midfield. First half, we didn't do that. You know, we gave him far too much respect. You know, we were worried about the ten coming off into pockets. We didn't really want to take responsibility. Centre half corner, when they got one to mark, we full back tucking inside and opens out so we can clamp on in midfield. Um, we, we, we looked a little bit disjointed. Everything that you don't want to see in your team is everything that we we were today, and it's unacceptable. Um, second game in, like I said, we've learned a lot. I told them in there that. We need to know who's on board and who's not. We'll be fine through that this week um, and sorting it out. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. You know, people being on board with you. It, it looked like from from the stand at the back of the stand and commentating on the game that several of them players didn't look interested. Yeah, I'm that's really honest with you. I think you're bang on, Mark. You know, um, we had to make three changes today from last week's eleven. Chib, Matty Wilson. Josh Lacey, they were superb last week. You know, want to put bodies on the line, want to go the extra yard. We made three changes today. Did it work? No, it didn't. Um, you know, you've got to be honest in this game um, if you want to move forward. And we had three or four nowhere near it this week. And, and we got to learn quickly. You know, you've got to be honest. You've got to. Are they honest enough in there though to, to walk away from the from the ground today and say, "I've done enough for the football club." You know, they get well looked after. It's not a bad surrounding. Is it? To walk away from First and foremost, you've got to earn the right to go and play, go and win football matches. It's miles away, miles away. And like you said, three or four looked disinterested and didn't want to be there. It just, it, first half, you, we, I was waiting for something to happen. I was waiting for one of the players to do something, to kick start you. And I can see you getting more and more frustrated on the sideline. Have you got enough leaders in there? I know that's probably a difficult question, but have you got enough leaders in there to get you out of this? Um, at the minute, we've got, we've got two or three leaders that are, aren't available down to injury, which would have helped the group. One of the reasons I brought Michael Jocklin in because he can do that, and I thought he's done well in his first game today. He's had a lot of defending to do, which you don't really want to see. Um, it's a young group, you know. We've got a, a left back, 19, centre half, 19. You know, we've got Alex Wiles, who's young. Um, but it's a league where it's unforgiving. You've got to, you've got to roll your sleeves up first and foremost, and uh, we certainly need one or two more leaders uh, because when you look around and look in people's eyes, are they hungry enough to to put bodies on the line, go through the for that extra mile for not for, just for the football, but for themselves? Does it hurt them enough to go and win football matches? Because where they are, where they are for a reason. It just doesn't happen overnight. It's a run of games now. We've played 32 games. We're in a position. The 31 games we're in a position for a reason and it's man and Terry's job to make sure we get that sorted ASAP and don't you can't get me wrong mate we'll be sorting that out ASAP okay thanks a lot David okay. thanks.